Okay, so the first card is perplexity, and this is feeling a bit anxious about uh, what is happening with you. You are uh, weighing up an op uh, two options, or uh, looking at the pros and cons of a situation and trying to make a decision, and this is causing a lot of anxiety for you. So, you know, you're thinking about something very uh, deeply, and this is causing some kind of anxiety, some kind of choice that you have to make. Um, you are start. You want to start something new. So there's the initiation card over here. Um, you're very focused on this. It's something really big, a big project, and maybe this is why you're trying to weigh up the options as to whether or not you should begin this particular project. Then you've got offering over here. So whatever this project is, it's going to mean that you're going to make some kind of sacrifice. Maybe a sacrifice of energy, time, uh, maybe having to focus on it quite a bit. So this is the reason why you're really thinking very hard as to whether or not you want to do this thing uh, because it's going to take, uh, you know, a lot of time off you or time or effort off you. You might have to even, you know, sacrifice. Uh, you might need to make, um, you know, payments for it. But there's something that you want to get or want to do uh, that's going to require some kind of uh, sacrifice on your part. So in the past, you've got the Empress card over here, so a lot of abundance coming in for you. You've got the uh, sign of Jupiter over here, so you've uh, expanded your horizons. You maybe, uh, you know, achieved a lot more comfort uh, in, in the past uh, than what you were um, experiencing. And you've got the Purification card over here. Uh, this is talking about, um, you know, healing uh, after having gone through a difficult period. So now going into the future, you've got the uh, unexpected card, which is talking about some surprise coming in, something unexpected coming in for you. Uh, so maybe it's news or uh, something happening that you didn't quite f uh, foresee. And you've got impediments over here. So uh, there are a few restrictions, a few problems that you might have to, or obstacles that you might have to face. This might be the surprise. You know, you know these are unexpected uh, obstacles, unexpected setbacks that uh, might come in um, and prevent you from doing whatever you wanted to do. So whatever new project you want to start off, there might be some obstacles or some hindrances uh, to it, um, you know, that you didn't ex anticipate. So these are the uh, energies for that uh, week. Well, those two weeks, rather. So I'm using the uh, Remesis Tarot for the main read. Um, I have shuffled this deck. So the main card is the Nine of Pentacles. This is basically your energy. Nine of Pentacles is being, uh, you know, working independently, focusing on your work um, and achieving things. You might be uh, communicating or collaborating with a lot of people. This is meeting people uh, in order for you to increase your wealth. You can see they're accumulating a lot of uh, gold at the bottom and money at the bottom and you know you're uh, you're actually um you know monitoring it taking account of what you're doing so you're um you're acquiring a lot of wealth or you're acquiring um you know uh enough um as far as finance goes you're quite comfortable but the job that you're doing this to do with work um, is allowing you be, you to be independent you may be uh, able now to buy the things that you wanted to and you know li live quite comfortably uh, uh, being financially independent you're doing everything for yourself this is also you know kind of spending time by yourself because the nine of pentacles is you know getting uh, achieving uh, but also spending a lot of time by yourself um, and also sitting back and relaxing the things that you have uh, acquired. So, uh, you know, enjoying the fruits of your labor. But in this deck as well, it's about meeting people and, um, you know, putting your message out to a broader person, people, a broader audience rather. Um, and uh, this is about, you know, making contacts with people from, you know, uh, in your work environment. So making new contacts, collaborating with a lot of, a lot of people as well. Now, what's happening uh, around you? You've got the Six of Swords over here, and you've got the Strength card. So you're, you're needing to, uh, you know, develop some kind of strategy to deal with difficult situations. You might be getting some advice from somebody at the moment, but this is allowing you to move forward. So you can see they're, you know, playing chess almost with, with knives over here. So you're needing to be very sharp-witted about it, come up with some brilliant ideas and brilliant plans, and maybe seeking some kind of counseling, seeking some kind of professional or, um, you know, advice, some kind of expert advice in order for you to uh, achieve things. There's also with the Six of Swords moving away from any kind of difficult um, situations and speaking your truth, standing up for what you believe in. 
And you've got the strength card over here. So you could well be dealing with a, a Leo person, but this is also about taking control of that situation and sorting out problems and actually winning in that kind of situation. So uh, with the strength card, you know, having uh, the confidence to be able to cope with that situation. And it seems like, you know, you've got that going for you as well. So in the past, you've got the devil card over here, and this is working really, really hard in a particular situation. It might have been a very, very toxic situation, somebody blocking uh, your way forward. So this uh, statue of Anubis blocking, uh, you know, the stair stairwell over here, or the staircase here, and, you know, people trying to um, placate him, uh, trying to make him feel better so that they, you know, the, the pathway can open. So there might have been somebody that was standing in your way, uh, somebody who was very uh, domineering, uh, you know, uh, somebody who was very manipulative in your way, somebody who was preventing you from moving forward, and you might have been dealing with this person. Also, this is a card about working really hard and being very, um, you know, uh, um, restricted by the job that you were doing, feeling as though, you know, there was no way forward, that you were stuck in that particular position uh, and not really being able to see the light, you know, just overworking and, and not really um, getting anywhere. So this is how you've been feeling in the last year. So uh, in the last three months, you've got the five of wands over here and it looks like you're working with a team of people and trying to get things going. Uh, maybe they are, uh, with the five of wands, it's about people not having, getting along, you know, having their own opinions about things and wanting to, wanting to do things their own way. So you may be dealing with a group of people or a team of people that are not listening to each other or they're not listening to you as well. They're not taking leadership cues from you and, you know, they want to get on with it. So, you know, if everybody's uh, putting their oars in the water at a different time, that boat is not going to move forward. And maybe this is what's going on. Uh, you know, your projects are having a bit of problems because people are not communicating. And, you know, they're not, you've got this bird over here about, you know, communicating with each other and maybe these people are not communicating properly and that is why things are not moving and you know there's a bit of dissension over there so that's causing obstacles or presenting problems to uh, uh, that project moving forward now you've got the stars card over here so you are very optimistic about whatever you're doing you're making plans for the future over here you're trying to be uh, you know to communicate with a lot of people you've got those stars over there and you are trying to show them what your future plans are how things are are um, meant to be this is also whatever you're, um, you have uh, to offer, you want it to be able to attract people to you. So you're hoping that, that uh, a lot of people um, you know, um, like what you're doing and want, uh, you know, uh, want your product or want, uh, want you to do things for them. You, you, you are trying to get people to be interested in whatever you're doing. So he's got these uh, seeds over here and all these birds coming in. So you're trying to uh, attract an audience. You're trying to attack people or maybe even customers or clients. Uh, so you've put out um, this particular idea and you're hoping that people uh, enjoy it or, uh, you know, want to um, employ you to do things for them. So, um, you know, you have got a lot of optimism and hope. You might be praying a lot as well with the star card. Now, um, going into the future, you've got the seven of wands over here, and this is dealing with unexpected problems. So this woman is trying to beat these rats off uh, the grain over here. So, you know, there might be some unexpected losses coming in for you, unexpected obstacles, unexpected setbacks. You, you know, they might be... Uh, coming and might be making you feel uh, very overwhelmed uh, by that situation. You don't really know how to deal with it. But you need to sort each and every single problem out one at a time um, in order for you to prevent any kind of loss. Uh, you know, there it's having an impact on whatever your work is. And, um, you know, this is upsetting you quite a bit. So it might be the fact that all these people are not getting along, these are presenting problems, or maybe people are not really, uh, you know, interested in whatever you've got to offer, and these are the problems. So there are some setbacks that might be coming your way with the Seven of Wands. But you need to stand up for yourself, and you need to take control. Uh, you know, don't let your emotions overwhelm you as well. Now, this is the Knight of Pentacles, and this is your card as well, and this is working really, really hard. The Knight of Pentacles is uh, the um, farmer of the um, tarot, so they work really hard, and, um, you know, it's, you're making progress even though it is slow. So you're getting there, but you're having to put in a lot of work uh, with this uh, Knight of Pentacles.
Now you've got the death card in over here, feeling very, very restricted in whatever you're doing. Maybe you don't have enough authority in that particular situation. You've got a mummy over here that's all bandaged up. So, you know, feeling very, very restricted. You want to be able to express yourself. You want to be able to do much bigger things, but maybe there are people around you that are preventing you from actually doing these things. Uh, so, you know, with the death card, it's about transformation. Uh, and there is a big change coming in with this death card. So things will uh, move on. Uh, the old situation will come to an end and something new will begin and that will give you much more freedom. So you will be able to get that freedom and that, that authority will come in for you. Now you want to begin something brand new. You have some kind of ideas that you want to put forward to the world and you want everybody to be absolutely thrilled that you are presenting this. So you want this a particular idea to shine, really. You can see all these people worshipping this man with these two eggs in his hand. There might be two ideas that you have that you want to put in and they're very, very good ideas that you feel they're very good. You want to make a new start with these ideas uh, and you want people to recognize the importance of it. So going into the future, you've got the King of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Cups. The King of Wands is somebody that you're dealing with. It might be a businessman, somebody in authority, uh, somebody in a leadership role, somebody that you need to present your idea to. This person is around you. Uh, they can be a bit ruthless. Uh, you know, it might be a fire sign person, it might be an uh, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius person. Uh, you're working with this person, and you need to be very... You know, you need to sweet talk this person uh, to get them to do what you want. So be aware that there is this person that you can present your ideas to. They may be able to help you or assist you or give you guidance. Um, uh, but you need to really be sweet to them uh, and charm them really to get whatever you need. Uh, and this is also the reason, you know, the strength card is there that, you know, it's going to be your sweet talking that gets you what you need. Uh, you've got the Eight of Pentacles over there, and this is getting, uh, you know, you're, you're doing a lot of things over here. So you're going to be very, very busy. If this person helps you out, it's, it's going to open the door for you to be uh, doing this work. You know, you are very uh, talented in a lot of fields. You can multitask right now. Um, and also, you know, you're a bit of an expert at whatever you're doing. So you're getting to a phase where you're going to be working extremely hard uh, and, you know, very focused on your work as well. And then you get, uh, you know... Um, uh, your wish being fulfilled with the nine of cups over here but you also need uh, to make uh, very very detailed plans for the future and with the lion uh, and this uh, deer over here it's showing that you need to be a person who takes charge of things so make sure that you are have you've got a a really good plan in place. It might need uh, mean that you need to do some research, uh, but you need to be very, very practical about what you're doing as well. Um, and, you know, it might mean that you need to do some extra studying. Now, the Eight of Pentacles also talks about doing some learning or some studying or some research with regards to your work, uh, generally. Uh, and so does this Nine of Pentacles. So you will be able to uh, get where you're going and you will achieve everything. You will achieve the satisfaction that you need, but it might need a little bit of extra work in the sense of doing research speaking to people and making some really good detailed plans uh, about what you're doing. So, you know, have a vision and, and document it. Write it down and um, put these plans into play um, in order for you to achieve your goals. So there is somebody there that's going to be able to help you, maybe to get uh, overcome any kind of obstacles that you're facing. It looks like you are going through some kind of transformation at the moment, but you need to really act with authority. And even this first card of the year, the Six of Swords, talks about strategy and having good plans in place. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the Fairy Tarot. So the first one is the Four of Springs. Uh, it says, be grateful. You have much to celebrate, deep feelings of peace and happiness, a contented personal life. So with the Four of Spring, it's like the Four of Rods, and it's about, you know, achieving. It's about celebrating, and it's about achieving um, stability and laying down good foundations. So you are getting there. You are definitely going to be successful. The Five of Spring says, opposing goals arising from uh, differing opinions, feeling at odds with yourself or others, and overly ambitious people. So all these people that you're dealing with are overly ambitious as well. They have stiff competition and you're having to sort them out. And maybe this with the seven of wands is how you're going to be able to sort it out. You've got to take a stand and you really beat off the competition in order for you to progress. And the last word, uh, the last card is the world, which is a card of achievement. And it says a brilliant success, the freedom to go in any direction, a journey that is now complete. So you will achieve whatever you need to achieve, but you do need to take a stand for whatever you believe in and stand up for yourself have proper pl plans in place and be very strategic in how you deal with the situation 
So make sure you're, you know, uh, have a pros and cons list. Be very, very um, um, deliberate in how you handle this particular situation. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.